Mashallah, beautiful. Mashallah, how beautiful. <coughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Bradford on an Eid morning as Muslims start to uh, celebrate Eid throughout the globe. And it's Eid prayer time at Masjid Bilal in Bradford. <laughs> और आप जिसको गलती भी लग जाती है बाद और बाद तो इमाम साहब को भी गलती लग जाती है क्योंकि एक ऐसी एक ऐसा आमल है जो साल के बाद आता है हमें तो हफ्ते के बाद तरीके बताया जाता है कि इसमें सबसे पहले नियत करनी चाहिए अल्फाज के अंदर नियत क्या है वो भी इंतहा मुख्तसर इराक के साथ साथ पढ़ रहा हूँ अपने अपने अंदाज में अपने अपने अल्फाज में अपनी अपनी जबान में आ रहा को याद है ईद उलफितर छोटी ईद तो उसके बाद नमाज शुरू होती है इमाम साहब जब कहेंगे अल्लाह अकबर इसको कहते हैं तकबीर उला सुबहान अल्लाहिस में बहुत सारी दुआएं हैं किसी को और याद हो इस किस्म की भी दुआएं हैं इसके बाद तीन तकबीरें होती हैं अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर ये तीन तकबीरें होती रात होगी जबकि रात हो गई फिर रुकू आम तरीके से जैसे आम नमाजों में होता है सईदा वगैरह आम नमाजों की तरह दूसरी रकात जब इमाम शुरू करेगा तो उस वक्त सुर फातिहा किरात करेगा किरात जब मुकम्मल हो जाए तो उसके बाद तीन तकबीर हमने के लिए अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर अल्लाह अकबर तीन दफा हमने तकबीर के लिए फिर जब चौथी तकबीर होगी तो फिर हम रुकू में जाए फिर हसब मामूल जो नमाज का तरीका है रुको सजदा वगैरह होगा तो ये थोड़ा सा मुख्तसर है उसके बाद इन शाह दुआ होगी और दुआ के बाद खुद में पढ़ा जाता है बहुत सारे लोग खुदबे को गैर मामूली समझते हैं खुदबा सुनना भी लाजमी है तो इस बात से खुदबा भी आप सुने फिर उसके बाद इन शाह आप अपने अपने घरों की तरफ जाए अल्लाह जल्द शाह आपकी ईद को मुबारक करे और अल्लाह तला आप सबके गुनाहों को माफ फरमे और जितने भी हमने ये इबादात की सारी की सारी अपनी बारूल So Eid namaz is done, mashallah, and people are starting to leave the masjid. And people are meeting and greeting, mashallah, wishing each other uh, Eid Mubarak. Alaikum salam. As the car park slowly starts to empty, as the road is packed out with cars, people that have been to the masjid. And then for lots of people on this day, they will go and make the war for those that have uh, left this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the highest abode. Jannah to all those that have gone from the world and sabr to all the families. So it's so exciting to talk about Eid, but just before I speak about Eid, Eid, uh, many of my non-Muslim friends often ask me, Javiz, tell us about Ramadan. So here's a little bit of information. Now bear in mind that I'm not a scholar, okay. Um, I'm just giving you a general uh, information. I am just an ordinary Muslim. So this is what I know. Uh, Ramadan is a pillar of Islam. It's one of the pillars of Islam. It's the month in which the verses of the Quran were uh, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Fasting, and particularly the month, okay, is, is an act of worship. Now, there's many purposes. However, one of the main purposes is taqwa, devotion to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, getting closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, purifying uh, our souls and gain, gaining a, a spiritual awareness that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is watching everything, seeing everything. And we are mere mortal beings that follow the commandments of Allah, or the commandments of Allah in the way that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has has taught us. So, it's purifying the, the 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 soul, and Muslims will uh, fast, okay, from sunset to sunrise. So, not only is it a, 
a, a spiritual awareness. It's also a physical uh, act too as well. A month in which a lot of empathy is shown towards those that are less fortunate throughout the world, where charity increases, where relationships okay, become stronger and become better. Uh, families come together, often taking their meals together. This kinship, that's, and it's an opportunity to uh, build bonds with other people. And as uh, particularly people from Asian backgrounds, according to the British Heart Foundation, okay, we're more likely to uh, suffer with bad health in our later years with things like stroke and heart, heart attack. So may God protect us from all those things as well. But research shows that it's got massive health benefits as well. Uh, people's insulin can improve, weight loss can improve, in inflammation can decrease as well. Anyway, back to Eid. <laughs> so when the Ramadan finishes, which is often on the sighting of the crescent of uh, of the moon, and we won't go there, right? Okay, because many people ask me, Javis, when is Eid or when was Eid or was, I was being asked before? And I said, look, I am now mature in years. Um, I've been through a hundred Eids, many of them that I cannot remember. And what I definitely know is when Ramadan finishes, it will be Eid. So it is Eid, mashallah, right now. <laughs> What happens on the day of Eid? Okay, well, the first thing Muslims will wake up in the morning and read their faraiz nimaz. Obviously, their compulsory nimaz of Fajr. However, then they will go and read Eid nimaz and Eid prayers. Often, not so much in the UK, but in other countries, they will go to the Eid Gar, which is populated by, you know, thousands of people. I was speaking to my uncle this morning and he said, well, roughly we had... Uh, a thousand people in the village of uh, Mala. They will read their um, Eid Namaz, they will hug, they will greet each other, they will forgive each other, they will celebrate, they will smile because Ramadan is finished and it's Eid. Now, a little bit of history that when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, went to uh, Medina, um, history goes to that stage where uh, the two main festivals. Uh, including Eid al-Fitr, okay, was um, ordered to, to be celebrated, which takes me to, to, to the fact that sometimes the, the, um, this uh, particular Eid, Eid al-Fitr, is sometimes referred to in the Urdu language as Choti Eid, or in Pokhto, Waluke Akhtar, um, and possibly by different um, uh, words throughout, throughout the world. It's forbidden to fast on this day, okay, and Muslims will give fitrana which is charity to the poor which will often be given okay well before uh, Eid Salah as well so those uh, ones that are, those people that are in need throughout the world world as well okay will will receive uh, a form of uh, of charity and people will say to each other Eid Mubarak okay which uh, translates roughly as blessed Eid people will wear new clothes um, or their best clothes okay uh, traditionally like in in Saudi and the, the Middle Eastern states okay they will uh, buy new kanduras okay the long long, long ro robes and in many cities throughout the world okay the buildings will be lit up um, here in Bradford there's lots of Eid Mubarak's around around the city uh, city center at, at the minute uh, Muslims generally generosity is at a very very high level love Pakistani people okay for that and mind you many other people as well generosity hospitality people will go to each other's houses they will eat they will drink um, in our homes what will there be um, there'll be kheer there'll be sweet dishes there'll be all sorts of roasts um, gawa uh, chai and so on and, and, and so forth as as well Oh yes, and the two Eids, so we've got Chota Eid and then we've got Eid al-Adha, which is sometimes known as Big Eid, that's um, during roughly, I think, two months and ten days-ish. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh yes, Eid al-Fitr, the breaking, the festival of the breaking of the fast, is what it roughly uh, tra translates as as well. And as the month of Ramadan is finished, and Eid is also here as well, it's a good opportunity for for us, me and you and all of us, okay, to reflect, to be better, to do good deeds, forgive each other and extend our charity and our gratitude as well. Now also, look, there's a 
although it comes with all the, all all this happiness look we're, we're individuals okay our hearts will will hurt and our hearts hearts will yearn for for different things for for different re reasons as well but the answer is 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 simple back to taqwa back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala back to duas back to prayers and a closeness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts our dua of allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab an-nar now let's have a look at this stage as well okay what muslims are probably doing in different parts of the world so this is a mall in pakistan with people celebrating and then you have saudi saudi arabia oh wow and the one and only mashallah makkah The center of the universe people praying and those that are the guests the special food of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in makkah and the clock showing an eid mubarak message isn't that beautiful mashallah the city of makkah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq to visit those places again and again and of course Eid in the city of Medina. MashaAllah, so many beautiful du'as. Allahumma inni asaluka ilman nafia wa rizqan tuyiba wa amalan mutakabbala. Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge, wholesome sustenance and deeds which are accepted. Absolutely beautiful. So this is my uh, local masjid. For those of you that do not know, that's where the imam will stand. Um, the leader of the prayers, if you're non-Muslim, and the remaining people will stand behind the Imam. Look, and while somebody's talking about it, somebody's come to. And celebrations will always include eating food that looks like this. And whether you're celebrating in the United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, or anywhere else in in the globe. Have a wonderful, blessed day and may all the Mubaraks of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always be with you.